This problem gives us two concentric spheres with radii that I'll call r sub a and r sub b. We're given those values in the problem statement. I'll assume the inner sphere has a positive charge and the outer a negative charge so that the electric field between them is in the radial direction like this. We're told the voltage between the two spheres is 120 volts and we're asked to calculate the energy density at two locations. One location just outside the inner sphere and another just inside the outer sphere. The energy density, lowercase u, equals epsilon naught e squared over 2. In this case we don't know the value of the electric field but we do know that the voltage, the line integral of the electric field, is 120 volts. So I'll use this expression to help us find the magnitude of the electric field at those two locations. We know from Gauss's law that the electric field is q over 4 pi epsilon naught, 1 over r squared, in the r hat direction. So that gives us this integral, which we can work out to get this result. and then rearrange so that we end up with the charge Q over 4 pi epsilon naught, product of the radii divided by the difference between the two radii. We know the voltage on the far left hand side of this line and all the radii, so we can solve for the magnitude of charge Q on the spheres. That equals this expression, which we can substitute into the electric field that we know from Gauss's law. That's q over 4 pi epsilon naught r squared. When you substitute our expression for q, the 4 pi epsilon naught cancels, and we end up with this. Where we know the voltage and the radii. If we substitute numbers into all of this that I'm circling in light blue, you find out that the electric field magnitude is 96 and a half volt meters divided by the distance r squared from the center of these spheres. So we can substitute that expression into our equation for the energy density. And now we can calculate lowercase u, the energy density, at any distance r between the two spheres. At the inner point, 12.6 centimeters, we get this value for the energy density. At the outer point, 14.7 centimeters, we get this smaller value. So we see that the energy density is decreasing as we move out in radius.